My guest this afternoon um, is Donna Conroy from Abbey House Hotel. We're very pleased to have you back on the station, um, uh, Donna, but Abbey House back up and running again. Um, what have you been doing over lockdown? What's, what's been happening down there at the hotel? Oh, hi, Andrea. Thank you for inviting me on today. Um, so throughout the various lockdowns, we've been very busy. We've um, been redecorating some of our bedrooms ahead of all the uh, staycations that we're hoping will be happening this summer. Um, we've done all the maintenance that needed. Obviously, it's an old, beautiful, old building. So there are a few things that crop up. We've had new roof um, and we've got plans um, going forward as well for the restaurant. We've had new flooring and things like that. So we've really taken the opportunity to just invest in this time and, and uh, give the place a little bit of a spruce. Yeah, so take take a positive slant on it and think that these are the sort. This is the sort of time that you wouldn't ever get normally, <laughs> at least no. to do these things. Um, yeah, what's that's the plan for reopening then? I presume that you're going to be taking it in stages over the next few weeks. Yeah, so um, we've been busy over the past couple of weeks now, in particular this week, because um, our phased reopening starts next Monday, the 12th of April, um, when we're allowed to open our os outdoor hospitality. Um, so we've got an, a marquee coming that's going to go on the back garden terrace. Um, obviously, the sides have to be up because then that is classed as outdoor dining. We've um, got our alfresco area Again, that'll be all open with the, with the fresh air that we all still need. But we've reinvested in a new terrace area as well. So we've got some lovely, luxurious um, outdoor furniture coming. Um, and it'll be really pretty set out there in the garden. So we're just hoping for the weather. Yeah. Hoping yeah, for the weather. Yeah. But I mean, we're just going to have to get used to it, isn't it? You know, that's what we're going to have to do over the next few weeks. Just bring a coat, bring a, yep. Bring a, yep. Bring a blanket with you. That's what we've said, bring a blanket. I think people are so excited just to catch up with friends and family that they'll just dress for the weather and embrace it. That's uh, we're, we're all just ready to, to meet up again. Now, what about the weddings, though? I mean, Abbey House Hotel is famous for its fabulous weddings. What, what, what's happening with them? It is. And obviously, um, the wedding industry and hospitality, the side of the weddings has been massively devastated. Um, we've had a fantastic wedding team working out, working all the way through lockdown. We've moved most, the majority of the weddings from last year have moved into this year. Um, so from the 17th of May, we can restart with intimate weddings for up to 30 people. Um, so we've got a few smaller weddings booked in, um, but then from the 21st of June, um, all being well, we're really hoping that everything is going to get back to normal and weddings will go ahead with no legal limits on numbers. Um, so obviously all our summer weddings are going ahead and, and they're excited and, and we're super excited about that as well. Fabulous stuff. Right, let's listen to a little bit of music now, shall we? And then we'll come back and talk about all the health and safety measures because it's nearly back to normal, but not quite. My guest this afternoon on the afternoon show is Donna Conroy. We're from, from Abbey House Hotel. Now, we've been talking about the reopening, the long awaited reopening of Abbey House Hotel. And, um, you know, things, things are starting to move there, Donna. But what changes can people expect? I mean, it's not quite the same, is it? So what would you advise people to do as they return to the hotel? Um, obviously, there's still going to be a few COVID restrictions in place. We're still going to have one-way systems. Um, so even for the outdoor hospitality, obviously, there's an element of going inside the hotel because people need to use the facilities. Um, so there will be a one-way safety system in place. And whilst inside the hotel, people are still being asked to wear masks. And obviously, social distance is still a thing between different groups of people. We're still going to have all the hand sanitizer stations out that we've always had. And I think even going forward, they will be part of our lives um, for, the, for the future. Um, once we move back inside from the 17th of May for dining, then masks, um, people will still be asked to, to wear masks, as, as we will be in in you know, in, in the wider community for now. Um, and then later on from the 21st of June, I think there's going to be an element of um, then they possibly will not be required, but I'm sure that some people will still feel that they want to use them and that's absolutely fine as well. Yeah, yeah. And staying overnight in the hotel when we're allowed to do that, I mean, will that be, you know, will people still be able to go for breakfasts and things like that? Because those sorts of things stopped, didn't they? 
It did, yeah. I mean, we implemented quite a lot of changes. Um, some of them were really successful, actually, and we are going to carry them forward because it actually made a more streamlined service. Um, breakfast times, we introduced um, a system where people when they checked into the hotel, they booked their breakfast time so we could keep an eye on the number and limit the amount of numbers that were down in any any given time. And we're going to continue that because it really, really worked for us as a hotel and, and for guests as well. Um, so we're just going to keep the breakfast times scheduled in. Um, buffets are not quite back yet, um, but maybe hopefully later in, in the summer they will be. Um, but there's a big fast, there's a big choice of breakfast that people can pre-order. Okay. Now then, what about events for the for later in the year? You know, I mean, we're, we we usually have wedding fairs and and all sorts of different um, parties, events going on at the, at, at Abbey House. Are, are those coming back online now? Yep. From July, we're going to start in reintroducing our wedding open evenings, um, and everybody is keen to have a party. We've we've been inundated with people wanting to book celebrations that they've missed. Um, so from from July, we're we're back opening our diaries and things like that. And um, we're quite limited on dates. We're in a lucky position for the rest of the year that we're, the weekends are quite busy. Um, but we've still got rooms. I mean, there's lots of baby showers that we can book for the weekends. They're really popular. Um, but I think looking forward for us, Christmas is a really big time for Abbey House Hotel. Um, so we've launched our party night dates and our Christmas lunches. Um, and I have to say they've been really popular and we're, we're filling up fast. So people are definitely <laughs> looking forward to the future. Well, there we go. I mean, we're not even at the end of April and we've got to start thinking about Christmas. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well it's it's lovely to have you on and i can see the excitement on your face that everything's going to start opening up again and everyone's just um you know waiting it's like everyone's behind the start line aren't they just waiting to yeah. get in there so yeah uh, thank you for your company this afternoon and all the best for the rest of the year thank you thanks for inviting me on take care